Well, Roger, um, what happened out there today? Yeah, it was a tough match uh, against Kenya. He played very well, and uh, I definitely missed my chances at a set point early on uh, in, the, in the first set, and didn't couldn't make it. So it was, it was a tough second set. I didn't, never really got into it. Tried to change a few things, but I had some issues with my my tape on the feet, and that really threw my rhythm out of the window. But anyway, look, I, I tried hard, and uh, my opponent played really well. So I think he deserved to win in the end, that's for sure. Could you just clarify what happened with your foot and, and, and did that throw you off your game a bit? Yeah, I mean, definitely threw me off. Uh, you know, the, I had two uh, change events where I took over three minutes, you know, of a break, but, uh, and I hate doing it because it really kind of is a, um, something I don't like doing or I n never ever do, you know, but uh, I had to, I had some issues with, with the feet and I had, I had to be solved, but it didn't help me to win, so it didn't really matter in the end. What was the actual problem? Was it blisters or...? Yeah, a bit of blisters and a bit of tape that was moving just had to be, be changed, yeah. Sure. Was it more a case of you having an off day or was it just your opponent was just on top of his game and, and that was too much? I think, you know, the first rounds are always tricky and tough, you know. It's a bit disappointing, of course, coming here, having won the last three years and then losing, you know, because you're going for a four-peat, but you know, it happens once in a while and it's okay, you know. But, um, uh, you know, I'm not frustrated, but I wish I could have played better. And, you know, I get out of so many matches throughout the season, you know, where I don't play my best, but I come through for some, you know, in some way. But, you know, opponent played tough and, and wouldn't give me anything today, so he deserved to, to win. Obviously, you haven't lost for a while, but I guess that doesn't make the defeat taste any better, does it? Oh, it's always easy to, to take losses now when you win so often, you know, and this has been 41 uh, matches in a row, and guys feel bad for me in the locker room that I lost, you know. <laughs> they should stop thinking that way. For me, it's, a, it's not, not, I don't want to say it's good for me, too, you know, to lose sometimes, but um, it just gave, puts, you know, perspective again a little bit into it, you know. It's just not normal that I win so many matches in a row. I'm going to try to get back on a roll in Miami, and I hope it's going to work out for me. Um, where do you go from here? Uh, stay here, or go to Miami. I'm playing, still playing doubles here, so I just won my doubles match actually after my uh, after my singles, which was kind of nice, and uh, still still going here. So hopefully, I can win the doubles this week. You don't feel it'll have any effect in your confidence or anything like that. Well, you don't know. Uh, I'm definitely going to, you know, have a bit more time to to rest and to practice and. That could make me play better in Miami, but it could be the opposite effect too, you know. So I, I will have to see and can only answer that question in Miami then.